Hello everyone, this is Gennady from Queen's Botanical Garden. Hello again. Um, I just wanted to share with you a few more things about our plants and our seeds that we started last time. Before we get started, just a little reminder of spring. Um, the, this is a double bloom cherry blossom from the garden. I thought that would be nice to take a look at something and I always like having plants keep me company a little bit. Last time we made a video, I planted some peas and some lentils from uh, our food and I just wanted to show you that uh, in the last four days these lentil seeds started growing. I don't know if you can see these little roots and stems starting to emerge. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to plant them in some soil. I have here some flower pots and a little bit of soil. I'm going to it up. Make sure that if you're using uh, soil to plant your seeds, that it is nice and wet. Um, let's see, I'm going to use a crayon to make some holes for our seedlings. There we go. And we're going to plop them right in. I'm going to plant two lentils. One two and I'm gonna plant two peas in the corners and I think that in the middle I'm gonna plant one of my lemon seeds just to see how it does and I'll cover them up we'll see what happens next time now if you don't have a flower pot at home um, you can certainly use uh, a leftover container just make sure you poke or a grown-up in around you poke some holes in there. Let's see what can we plant in this one. Let's plant the rest of our seeds real quick. There we go. And I think I'm just going to kind of loosely put them on top and see what happens. Because sometimes science and growing stuff is about seeing what happens. There we go. I'm going to leave one of our seeds for later so I can show you something cool. Now, I've always thought that seeds going from dry little seeds to sometimes huge plants is kind of a miracle. It's a very cool thing. And one of the things that I wanted to share with you is how that happens. Now, most seeds have the same basic parts. I want to show you here, I created a little diagram. So most dry seeds, like for example, this lima bean or this kidney bean right here, most of them have the same basic parts. On the outside, they have this dry coat that protects them from uh, getting damaged. Inside the dry coat, there's a little thing that's called a cotyledon, and that is sort of like the plant's storage of food. And next to that, I don't know if you can see right here in the middle, is the germ, the little embryo, the baby plant. Now, once you take that plant and put it on the ground or in the water, this is what happens. Now, these things happen almost at once. Let's see where are my signs here. So, the seed coat let some of the water in and as it does that the cotyledon swells up with the water and makes cracks in the shell which then slips off and in the meantime once that's wet the germ starts taking uh, water from and nutrients from the cotyledon soil and starts letting out its root and there we go so that's what happens and you can kind of see that how we started out with these teeny tiny little seeds there's my lentil okay and once the water got in them they got a lot bigger you can see right there now that might be challenging to see underground, but what we're gonna show you in our next video is how to take a look at that outside of the ground. 
I'll see you in a little bit.